War Diary Day 491 of Russia's war against Ukraine. I fear that the Russians will indeed blow up the Zaporizhia nuclear power station. A few days ago, the GUR Ukrainian military intelligence said that the Kremlin had approved plans to blow up the power station and blame it on the Ukrainians. The West needs to say to Russia, if you do this, then we will use cruise missiles, conventional cruise missiles, to blow up the Russian fleet stations in occupied Crimea. We will kick all Russian banks off the international um, SWIFT system and all sanctions will be increased to the max. But we need to send this message in plain language, loud and clear, and we need to do it now. The evidence is as follows. A few days ago, um, Ukrainian military intelligence, the GUR, said that the Russians were going to do this. They're going to blow up the nuclear power station and then blame it on the um, Ukrainians. The problem for the West is that it won't be easy to verify that sequence of events immediately and the West may differ. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're playing with nuclear fire here. And we need to tell the Kremlin in plain language, in, in the open, so everyone understands the risks, what Russia is planning to do. Now listen, in my book, Killing in the Kremlin, the paperback edition, which I wrote in October, but it was published in February, I said the Russians wouldn't use tactical nuclear weapons because the Chinese don't want them to, but I did say that would blow up the Novohovka Dam. I was right about this. I fear I'm going to be right about the Russians blowing up the nuclear power station. By the way, it won't be as bad as Chernobyl because that was an explosion from the inside. This is an explosion from the outside going in, but there will be some radiation and that is not good. So it's much better to stop this. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.